In this particular lesson, we will be looking at calculating the probability associated with multiple events by means of a two-way table. So, a typical sort of question you'd be looking to answer. Adam rolls two die. Calculate the probability the sum is equal to 7. So, this situation, Adam is rolling two die, and we're looking for the value of the sum of these two, and seeing whether it adds to 7. In terms of maths, we could write this such as the calculate the probability the total is 7. Now, a two-way table is a good way to represent the sample space when there are two events. Now, typically events, two events may be tossing a coin and looking for a head or a tail and spinning a spinner to see what colour the needle lands on or tossing two dice and having a look to see what the sum of their faces are. Now, in this situation, I have drawn up a blank two-way table. And what you should note, I've identified there are two events. The first event will be that of rolling my first dice. And the numbers on the face for that first dice will be one, two, three, four, five, and six. And that will be represented looking down the columns. The second event, well, that is rolling the second dice. And what I do is I look for all the combinations. So what if the first die was a one and the second was a one? What would their sum be equal to? Well, one plus one equals two. What, a, what if the first die was a one Second die was a 2. Their sum would be equal to 3. And I can work my way through this table. I will just fast forward the video up to completing... Well, welcome back. What if dice number 1 I roll has a 6? Dice number 2 I roll has a 6. That total will be equal to 12. Now, in here, this is a list of all my possible outcomes, or it's commonly referred to as my sample space. Over here, I have my events. And just do, inside the table contains the sample space, all the possible outcomes for the sum of two dice. Now let's get back to that question. We're looking to calculate the probability of the total of two die when tossed will give us seven. So what do I need to do? Well, how many combinations here are in my sample space? So there are six by six, so there will be 36. So that's my possible number of outcomes. And of these, how many of those outcomes do I have a sum of seven? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six. So there are a total of six. So the answer that I'm looking at would be equal to six out of 36, or if you prefer, you want to simplify that, one sixth. So. Just to summarise, a two-way table, such as what I've represented here, some textbooks might, might call this just a table, is a convenient mechanism or a, a good diagram to represent all the outcomes when I am working with two events. My two events this time were rolling one dice 
and another dice. You may have tossing a coin and spinning a spinner and, and they could be represented by heads and tails or red, green, blue and yellow. So, so there you go. I hope this presentation has given you a better understanding of how I can use ta tables or two-way tables to list all the outcomes and go on to calculate probability. So until next time, good maths.